Hello, Form A. This is your tutorial on how to make the ruler in Tinkercad. So first off, uh, you need to go up to Learn up here in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, you can click on Lessons. And then here is the ruler. So we click on it. And so we are going to start the ruler project. All right, so the first thing it says is let's start with adjusting the snap grid in the lower right-hand corner of the editor. And so that's right down here. And so we're gonna make that a 0.25 millimeters for us. And we can choose next. And it says drag a box shape to the work plane and scale it to a smaller height of two millimeters. So I bring it on over and I need to change the height. And so to do that, um, I can click on the top here, a little white square, and then I can just choose two and it now is too flat, which is great. And then it says scale it to a size of 60 by 20. Uh, and so here it's already 20 in one direction, but I need it 60 in the other. So I can change that so I can type 60. And then I'm just gonna move it over into my orange box. And again, if I'm a little bit off, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard pad to adjust it accordingly. All right, and we're gonna choose next. It says drag a cylinder shape uh, to the work plane. So I've got my cylinder here and I drag it to the work plane and it says scale it to a diameter of two millimeters. So that means two millimeters in the X direction as well as in the Y direction. So I'm gonna change this to being two and I'm gonna change this to being two and then it says, make it a height of 60. And so I can choose the top little white box, make it a height of 60. And then it wants me to put it into my orange little square. And again, I'm just using the arrow keys. Move it accordingly. Okay. And we choose next. It says rotate the cylinder and move it down to the work plane. So what we're gonna do is there's this little curvy arrow here at the top and then it kind of gives me, when I click on it, it's got this little arrow and so I can grab it. And if I'm outside the circle, it goes by individual degrees. If I bring my mouse cursor inside, then it goes by 15 or you know different quarters. So I can do that. And there I am at 90 degrees. And then again, I need to it's floating here, so I got to bring it down all the way to the work plane. So all the way, so then the work plane to zero. So there, there it is, like so. And then I need to bring it up into the area, like so. Again, I'm going to double check to make sure I'm in where I need to be. And I'm gonna then say, it says you copy and paste the cylinder. So I copy and paste. And I'm just gonna move it all the way over to the other side. And so now I've reached the other side. And I'm gonna do myself a favor here and I am going to capture all of them and group them. So then it's all just one nice piece like so. Okay. So then we can choose next. It says drag a roof shape to the work plane. So I've got these little, these little tiny roof thing. So I'm gonna grab my roof and it's pretty big to start off with. And it says scale it to a height of two millimeters and then a size of one by 20. So it's gonna be one millimeter wide, 20 tall. Okay. Adjust that with my arrow keys, then move into place. You can always zoom in a little bit to make sure you are where you need to be. All right, move it to the area marked in orange. We did that. Next, uh, it says copy and paste the roof shape and scale it to a smaller size of uh, one by six. So I'm gonna copy and paste and then move it a little bit out of the way here. And I'm going to then bring it, and it needs to be six millimeters. 
one like so and rotate it and move it into the area highlighted in orange. Now, this is one part where they are incorrect uh, on their uh, thing. They want you to rotate it all the way around. Do not rotate it all the way around. You do want to, though, lower it down uh, one. So you wanted to lower it one down into it, but keep it facing up. I know it's confusing, but that's just the way it's going to be to get a nice finished product. So that is a change from what they're saying here. Do not rotate it. Just keep it facing up. Then next, we're going to copy and paste uh, these, and it says make it smaller by a one by three. So again, uh, I am going to copy and paste. Let's slide over a little bit here, and I need to make it a one by three. So I select here, and so instead of being six tall, it's going to be three tall. And then I need to bring it into place like so. And again, it's nicely lined up there. It's just in reverse. I copy and paste, bring it over, copy and paste, bring it over, copy and paste, bring it over. And then again, if I want to be real slick, I can copy, I can highlight all four of these, copy and paste. Now I got all four of them. I can bring them over to this side and line them up nicely like that. So I've got these kind of mountains and valleys um, all set to go. Now it wants me to do it a whole lot more, right? So first off, I am going to copy these guys, copy and paste them. And so then I can move them over here to the left. Okay. And then I can grab this one and I can grab this one as well as all the rest of them that are there. And again, I can just press shift and, and select all of them. Or you can drag a rectangle over it. There, I've got those four. And I'm going to, again, copy and paste. But before I do that, I'm noticing that this one needs to be bumped up. It needs to be bumped up. That is my my bad. So again, I'm going to grab all of these, copy and paste, bring it on over, paste, bring it on over. And then copy and paste over and copy and paste bring it on over you may be noticing that those really long ones are a little bit higher up they are supposed to be that way that is that is what they are supposed to be looking like um, as you do it again you want to make sure your pieces are lined up and in this case this one is not and then this one, these, all four of these, they all need to be moved over one. Again, we're making a ruler, so we want to make sure that our measurements are accurate. And essentially, I know that I'm accurate if those that bottom orange triangle is in the bottom of the other one I've got. Everything else looks... Yep, I did all the rest of them correctly. All right, so now I've got a lot of little triangles. I am definitely going to copy all this here, and I am going to group them together. I did not select this up top, but I did do the other ones just because it's... Uh, they are a lot of pieces and I don't want to lose any of them. So I did a big select all of that, um, but didn't grab the red piece up there at the top. All right, now everything's in proper scale. Select all the roof shapes and move them to the area marked in orange. And so this is where you're gonna see, I'm just dragging them over here in orange. 
It should all be nicely lined up. But you can see that they do need to come up. And so we're going to pull them up into place. And I don't go all the way. That's too tall. But I, I go one off of the work plane. So you can see that I'm one up, one millimeter up off the work plane. I was way down here. You couldn't see anything. Um, this was, you know, it at zero. And so I need to have those little notches and for it to print nicely. I bring them one and a half up. Okay. So there we've got those nicely in place and I can then select all of this and group it. So those now, those notches are locked into place. It's starting to look like a ruler. Now we got to do the numbers. So I've got one through five. Uh, and so to find the numbers, I go to text and numbers and numbers. I've got to choose all the way down here at the bottom, the number two. And so then I grab my one, I grab my two, I grab my three. And again, I'm trying to line them up as best as possible. It's not that crucial that they are exactly in the right spot in this case, um, but they, you, know, you wanna try and get them as close as possible. So I've got one through five on my work plane. Now I need to shrink them. And so the way to shrink them is I'm gonna select all of them. I'm holding shift to select all of them, okay? And then I'm still gonna hold shift. I'm still holding the shift button on my keypad because that will then scale them all at the same time. I can grab this bottom little white triangle by the, or white square by the five, and then it shrinks them all down at the same time. And that we can get them pretty darn close to the size that you want, which is a-okay. Then we hit next, and they want me to move the numbers into where it is marked. So I can bring my one over, and you can see it doesn't show up. So I've got to actually raise it up, and you want to raise it up one and a half, and I'm going to use the arrow keys to kind of bring me into place there. And I'm going to do the number two and raise myself up. Again, I'm raising it up one and a half and using the arrow keys to get it into place. Bring the three over. I'm grabbing that little black triangle at the top and raising it one and a half. I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up. I don't know if my two is just perfect there. And then I'm going to do my number four. And again, I've got to grab that little black triangle. I got to shift it over a little bit. Arrow keys. And then lastly, I'm going to move my five over and grab that little black triangle and I can move it up one and a half. get it into place as well. So then we've got our one, two, three, four, five, all set. Congratulations, we made it. I do wanna grab all the whole thing and group it all. So I've got one solid ruler there with the numbers. Each of these is a centimeter. Each of these is a millimeter and you've made your own ruler. And again, you wanna make sure you change your title. So it's ruler with your first initial and last name. And then you go to export it or go to back to Tinkercad, make it public, and you're good to go. That is how you do your ruler here in Tinkercad. Thank you.